today we're going to be making a setup for a green tree python. Now, I don't have one, but I really, really want one. So, like, I probably won't get it for, like, another few months, but I'm that guy who's always like, oh, I gotta get the cage up set up now, and, like, for a long time, like, a long time before I get it. So, yeah, I'll show you how I do that. So, most people use a tub. You can have, like, a natural, um, it'd be better for a clear tub. I just couldn't find one. I probably will get one, but I just want to, like, have it right now. But, Grinchy Pythons have a myth that they're mean and they're hard to care for. 90% of them are super docile and they're super easy to care for. Like, if you're going to breed them, you can keep them in rack systems, probably that tall off the ground. And all you have to do is take a stick, put it in it, and then you could just have the whole bottom water, like that thick, just for the high humidity. Now, I don't have a water dish. This is like all my materials that I have right now. I don't have a water dish, but I will get one later. So, the most important thing you'll probably need, well, besides a water dish, is your pole. Now, this is probably going to be your favorite thing in your whole cage. The pole is what they'll probably be resting on, maybe sometimes here, maybe in the, and maybe in the bushes a little. But I'm not going to try to make this video long like I did yesterday. All right, so it's kind of gross, but I like to spin on it. So yeah, kind of get it in there. It's hard to do this one-handed. And good, set right there. Dang it. Here. Gavin's not here, so he can't film me right now. All right, good. And now I'll get this one. I didn't have one of those sticky things, so I'm just gonna like set it like this. I'm gonna have a screen top, so it's not like all dark in here. I'm gonna have like a screen top with a UV light, so it's nice and bright. So if you do it that way, it will be fun to have a black tub like this. Now, clear tubs always are the best, but. I didn't really have one. I probably will get a clear tub if I do do it, though. Alright, so now I got my vine set up right there. Now I'm going to take this right here, set it right under there. So now it looks pretty good. Now I probably am going to get more vines to put all around the other side. Maybe I'm going to get a big water dish because, like I said earlier, they need a high humidity. I'm going to get a big water dish, put it right there. So now I have this pole. And I actually cut it out to the right size. I took these screws out. It was for my iguana. Um, I had these screws out. So I cut part of the pull off. I took the screw out of the other end. Yeah, so it wasn't really a screw, kind of like a hook. So, all right. So now I'm going to squeeze this in here somehow. Kind of put it... I'm going to want to put it like lined up with these, not on the sides like this. So now he'll get a better range of sitting there. And um, so now he can like kind of like if he wanted to, he could go on the pole, slither up kind of like burying the bushes on the pole at the same time. But cool. So that would be a good green tree python setup. Definitely have a lid, but make sure it's not all dark. I'm going to get a screen lid with a UV bulb so it can light up the whole cage. Uh, a nice big water dish right in this empty area. So yeah, that's a good cage for a Grinchy Python or Emerald Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again on another video of making